Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, uh, we did a shrine. Um, we came back down here into the depths just to see what was down here and got super sidetracked. Um, so that's cool. Alright, I want to see what this like tower thing is because it very clearly looks special I don't know if it's something we can do anything with but if there is something we can do with this it would be fantastic So, so there's sand here, but it it doesn't seem to react to that. Um, what happens if I drop a fan? Nothing. Okay, no reaction at all. Okay. This feels like something we've got to do stuff with later. So, for now, let's go back. Which is this way. don't necessarily want to get involved in a monster fight right now. Hold on. Oh, why did it... Why does it keep getting darker? I don't, I don't like that. Um, no, I... Can I... I mean, I guess I can make a hot air balloon. Can I, can I lift off the hair, hot air balloon without <laughs> hot air? I don't know if I want... <laughs> Um, okay, no, I need to figure out how to start a fire. Um, oh no, it, it is lifting off. Just very unevenly. Okay. Well, in that case. Okay, that should be more even. And just for good measure. <laughs> That's totally a safe place to put that rocket. You know? Alright. <laughs> Lift off! Woohoo! All right, let's go. <laughs> that that worked pretty well, actually. <laughs> okay. So I want to follow these statues again. Um, because we did learn that. Because we were told. By talking to, um, 
Joshua, or, or whatever her name is, however you pronounce it, that there is something down here if you follow the statues. Thank you very much. Okay. I keep hitting the statues. That honestly kind of works. Okay. Okay, we got some pose. Nope. Chill. I know you're excited, but I'm not, so I'm just gonna go over here and pretend you don't exist. Oh, that's interesting. That's fascinating. This root is directly below one of the markers that I placed, which means that it's directly underneath a shrine, right? Is that like, like a thing? Okay. Well, we need to go this way. I don't want to be on the darkness. It's called gloom. I don't know why I called it darkness. Cause probably cause it's dark and scary looking. I don't know what this voice is. No, don't you dare. Thank you. No, don't you dare. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Okay. I really like the depths, honestly. They're very cool. I do kind of wish that there were some actual shrines down here. Um, that would, you know, allow me to get some, some orbs. But, whatever. A dead end? Uh, That's strange. There definitely should be something up ahead. What's the matter? Oh, are you investigating this place too? Uh, Look, see how this stone statue has fallen into the wall? These statues are typically set in rows with, with one sight line leading to the next until they finally stop at an old mine. But this is different. The chain of statues ends here. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of an old mine. Uh, could it be somehow? In, could it somehow be inside this wall? But I don't see any kind of entrance. <laughs> oh well, I found you here, so at least the statues led me to a hero. Huh? Your life is mine. <laughs> really? <laughs> Using a torch is probably not the greatest idea. All right, um, let's go ahead and fuse these together. Sure. Okay. So, I say inside the wall. Could I like you know, if I if I ascend I'm just gonna end up 
Um, I'm gonna end up on the surface or something. Can I blow up the statue? We can try, but I, I really doubt that that would be something it would allow us to do. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. Although this is a different color. Well, that's a little disappointing. Let's actually go like maybe that. Come on. I guess we could at least, like, go around this and see if there's, like, an entrance hidden on one of the other walls. Okay. Not seeing anything. Of course! <sighs> Why would I expect anything different? Hold on, that, wait, that's... No, okay, that's not a cave. I thought that was a cave within the cave. It's not the case. Really don't care. I've got bigger fr fish to fry. Frost Talus. No, no. And yeah. Gotcha. Whoa. That is cool. And I get the feeling 
Something good'll happen. Good'll happen if we uh, put it on something. Hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. Um. Really, Link? Please. Get the frick out of here. Plus 27. Holy moly. Okay. I love that. Um, is there... Is there another root in the distance that we can see? Unfortunately, do not see one. Alright, I think I'm just going to return to the surface. Because... As fun as it has been to um, explore, we are out of arrows. So I'd like to not do that. I might not be using bright, uh, I might not be using the bright blooms or whatever efficiently. There might be a way to activate them without needing the, um, stuff. But that's the only way I know how to do it, so, you know, stick with what you got. <laughs> All right. Let's go this way. I want to actually go along this ridge. So that way if there's any shrines or anything interesting off in the distance, we can mark it. I'm not seeing anything. I mean... That looks like something. That might be like a hidden shrine or something. But I don't I don't know how many shrines are in this game. It seems like there's going to be a dungeon per um a dungeon per sage or whatever, which means that uh, there's probably gonna there's a bit more there's a couple more heart hearts that come from dungeons than in the first game, or at least presumably. And then, yeah, I don't know if there's any other ways to get stuff. Well, we'll worry about it later. Oh, hold on, that's definitely a Korok. And... Ta-da! Thank you. All right. Oh, this is right next to a um, stable. Cool. That's actually great. <laughs> uh, I probably want to go down to that stable and check in with it because um, checking in at a stable gives you the pony points or whatever. Combat training archery. Okay. I don't have any arrows. <laughs> How am I supposed to train archery? <laughs> I 
This shrine purifies the ancient evil you have entered here. Heed my instruction. Okay. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. How am I supposed to do that without arrows? Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Um, I will try. Oh, good. <laughs> Well done! Alright, what's our next step? Oh boy! Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Ow. Ta-da! You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Cool. So it was just a lesson on weak points. Great. Okay. Um... Let's do this, I guess. And then... Sure, that works. Okay, strong construct bow. Cool. Um, let's drop that. Alrighty, that's another shrine cleared. Cool. We've done it. Da -da -da -dum. So we now have enough for another heart or stamina. I don't think we're going to go back and turn it in just yet. Because it doesn't really feel like it's necessary. Okay. Let's see. Can we find... So that's marked already. Um... Okay. I'm not really seeing anything, so let's go down to the stable. Ah. Alright then, I'll take them. Hello? Oh. oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village, to the northwest. Uh. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the kind folks with the sta from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's, ta it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. You let me know if there's anything else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pick it up for you to carry home. Oh. Words cannot express my gratitude. All right. Well, we got Beetle here again. Uh, let's check in with yeah. the front desk. Oh. So that gives us a new reward. Oh. So... Oh. Let's not oh. take one out, because I think we're going to... We're going to... I I don't think we're gonna continue down this road. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I got really distracted. <laughs> uh, for five points, you get the horse god fabric. Cool. Mm. I I hear the dye shop in Hatano Village has new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nakluda, you ought to stop by. 
I'm sure they can help you put this fabric to use. If you save up just two more points, you'll be able to use the uh, Melanin bed, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god Melani Melan Melania. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, anything on the news? What's the news? Great fairies, great fairy flees into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. Oh. Hmm, I'd heard a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes bring offer a blessing to visiting travelers. I was going to head to Elden, the region in northeastern Hyrule, and see if it was true, but I always read every word of these newspapers. Okay, cool. What's up with you? Uh huh? There's something bothering you, young man. Oh, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say that this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks! What a fearsome creature! I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? If I were younger, I'd hike all... I'd hike to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Fascinating. Okay, uh, let me just... Go to the edge of the cliff and just take a look off into the distance. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um, that wasn't quite pinned on the right spot, but whatever. Okay. Ultra Ball Hall check-in. I'm sorry, what? Ain't easy making it here. Oh. Hey there, kid. Hard not to sleep in on a nice morning like this. That must mean you got a hankering for Ultra Ball Hall. Am I right? Yeah. What's with the blank stare? You never heard of the super popular habit forming Ultra Ball Hall? I guess that figures since I'm the only one who's ever played it. Thought it up all on my lonesome. Oh. The rules are simple. Carry the bar as far as you can before the time runs out. It's up to you how you carry it. Put it on a cart, lug it in your arms, whatever works. Careful though, lose that ball and you lose the game. But the farther you take it, the better your reward. So make sure you hustle. So how about it? Wanna give the old Ultra Ball Hall a shot? That's the way, it'll cost you 20 rupees, okay? All right, I'll get the ball. So just give me a holler when you're ready. Okay. So... All right. Well... I'd say we want... A fairly simple one. We don't want to make it too big, because otherwise it's going to start getting wrecked by physics. Okay. That looks surprisingly good already. Um 
I would like... Okay. Perfect. I might be overcomplicating things by adding the rockets, but, you know, it sounds kind of fun, so... Okay, so I... Oh, okay, I... I started with a cart thinking that was going to be my best bet, but there's... There's a glider. If we could get the height, that definitely would get us farther, right? That is not a good position for that. I don't like that. Please don't. Okay. I think this is my the best vehicle I've made so far. That actually doesn't look terrible. Um, what are the rules? Uh, carry the bar as far as you can. Alrighty. Let's go! Yippee ki yay! I wish there was a way to delay the rockets, is the thing. 400! That's a. I feel like that's fairly good for a first try. <laughs> it took that ball a grand total of 400.8 meters away. Amazing! You got that ball far. I knew you were special, kid. That was a ball haul for the ages. Now here, this is for you. All right, purple rupee. You're pretty good, kid. So what? So good that I'll let you try the extended course where you've got twice as much time to play. Give it a try sometime. I want to see what you can really do. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, fantastic. They give me my cart back. Let's try it again. I, I want to see how far we can go. Okay. Um... Okay, so I like this, although actually, if I I don't want I'm trying to think of how I could do this. Um, do I go? Okay, hold on. Let's make... Tried two different builds. Are you serious? <laughs> you, are you seriously going to be like this? It's because I didn't put it dead center. Okay. So now that's good. Uh, let's test this, though. Because we don't actually have to start immediately. 
we can test the theory, right? Okay. Um, well, the first, the first hurdle is just getting on top of it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay. Is there a way to reset this? Okay, good. What if I do this? Does that spring better? Not really. But what happens if I add some fans to the back? If we can get this... Okay. Spring is a no-go. Um, we need to... Oh, gosh. Really, guys? Okay. I think at this point, what's probably a better idea... I'm just going to set this off to the side. Um... Actually, this this works. Okay. Basically, what we want to do is we want to build a launch pad, but not not just a launch pad is the thing. We need it to be a launch pad that we can quickly climb. So if we do that... Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to tip it over. Um, we should be able to just... Let's see if we can add some weight. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay. Um, currently it does. But as soon as I put anything else on there, it's going to tip. So let's see. Can we use the spring as a weight? Okay. So now... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, I've gone too far. Dang it. <laughs> um, I guess we can... We can cannibalize our car. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, I had a silly idea. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to stick to. Okay. 
Um, forward a little. Okay. We need a bit more. Is there any other building materials? I'm kind of disappointed because there was a rock that fell, but it's disappeared now. Could I do this? Oh gosh, that is the wrong way to turn that. Actually, so we don't necessarily even need this. Because basically, as <laughs> oh, this, uh, this is totally not gonna work ever. Dang it. I'm gonna have to rethink this, aren't I? I mean, okay, hold on. Um, okay. I didn't necessarily want to break that away from this, but okay. So let's take this over here. Let's take that off of there. We also don't need that on there. Or that. <clears throat> Theoretically, what we could do... Separate that for a second. I'm sorry. This might actually be it. <laughs> um, okay. Hold on. Um, let's turn this this way. Did we accidentally make this work just because we jokingly tried to use my car as part of this? Is that what ha what happened here? Okay, now. I would love to be able to see what's happening up there. Okay. Not perfect, but we can get up there. So, perfect, now, okay, actually, um, first I would like, because in order to get off the platform, we're going to need the rockets as a boost. I have, I genuinely have no idea if this is going to work. So, okay, now we put the ball as close to the center as possible, so as to not screw things up. Okay. 
Okay. Don't fall down, please. No, no, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Um, okay, I need like, okay, let's do this. You two are gonna be my halfway platform. You're gonna go there. Okay. Now, why am I really too far to be able to grab that? Really? Am I not? This sucks. <laughs> uh, I should have just gone for the car. <laughs> okay, well, let's rebuild the bird. And then we'll try to get it back up there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I got it. Oh, my gosh. I got it. Oh, my gosh. I got it. No! <laughs> I had it. Dang it! Okay, we're trying a different concept. Or slightly different concept. Okay, that's not going to work. That needs to be there. Okay. Now first, flip this over. And is it close enough? No, I need to go down a little bit. Okay. Oh, I saw it. Okay. Um, so you're probably like, why is it turning so weird? It's because I'm grabbing the ball as opposed to the the glider itself. Okay. So. On the one hand, it's up here. On the other hand, it's almost certainly not going to launch right now because it is caught on, the, the fans are caught on the boards. So let's try to mount the fans up here. I think that is about as good as I'm gonna get it. Let's try to take this off. And we're just gonna put this Right there, so I have a ramp to go up. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> that took me like 20 minutes. Oh. Where's my... Where's my car? Why? <laughs> no! All right, well... That sucks! Note to self, build it off-center! <sighs> well... At the very least, um, let's see if we can get far enough to recoup our 20 rupees. And, okay, so, theoretically, as long as we can try it again pretty easily, 
now that things are working somewhat well. Okay, well, if I got 500, if, if I got 50 rupees for 400, that's got to be 20 rupees, right? Although this is on the extended course. So it's probably more strict, isn't it? Okay, good. We recouped our losses. Um, oh, I... Okay, so... Oh, no. If I had just, if I had said yes, it would have kept all of my stuff, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I was going to try again in the next episode, but I think because it... Because all of our stuff is broke... We're not going to mess with it this time. Um, so I might come back here later um, to play again, just to see. Um, maybe once I learn more of the uniquity, uniqueness of how each of these work, maybe we can be more efficient with this. Um, I really should have just gone with the car again. I should have just used the same car that I was using before. Because um, that would have... Definitely gotten farther than before. Um, but still. Um, that was at least fun to experiment with. So next time, we will go ahead and do some more shrines. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So see ya.